Hi there, I'm Karen McCarthy. Very proud to have my work installed in a gallery exhibit here at the Portal Art Gallery in Arlington, Massachusetts, which is a town I've lived in and worked in for over 20 years now. This is a wonderful new space we have in town. Um, Kyle Russell has created a beautiful gallery space with wonderful lighting, transformed this place, which was extremely different uh, in its prior uh, business. It was a funky shop, but it didn't have this kind of lighting. And so it's a great opportunity to show my work, share it with the community, and also for me to see it in totality in this in this one space to see how pieces relate to each other. And I found as I was planning which pieces to include and how they would interact with each other, it was very interesting and it kind of created larger collages within themselves as one piece would relate to the next. And that was a really interesting exercise. I hope that my pieces draw the viewer in there's a lot going on from a distance, and also there's a lot of detailing, and I have a, a careful attention that I place on every element that goes into the piece. I want every element of my collages to serve a purpose. I don't want extraneous elements in there. So a lot of time is spent after I paint, I paint and print all of the imagery that you see in these pieces. I do a combination of what I call surface design techniques, which is very broad, but there are several techniques that I use these days, paste paper printing, gelatin plate printing, painting with stencils, on and on. There are quite a few of them. And when I have enough papers printed, I start combining them, and I sometimes envision what I want the final product to be. Sometimes it's much more open-ended, but regardless of that, the, the finished piece is usually very different from the ideas I had at the beginning. So I might be thinking of a landscape-oriented piece. A lot of the pieces deal with space and other formal issues, color and pattern and how things interact. And when I start combining these pieces, for me, that's where the real art begins to happen. And so I see what happens when two of these elements are put together or, or more. I might start with a couple of elements that are particularly interesting to me and then I gather more papers, and I have sort of a family of papers that are related in some way. Then when I put them together, something magical can happen. Mm -hmm. And suddenly there is more, more depth that's happening. And for instance here, there's a landscape that pulls you in and you can sense far off place. It may not be a literal landscape, but it has those elements, it has those reminders. This piece here is uh, very window-like, and again feels like sort of looking through, and shadowy, maybe this is sort of uh, speaking to something towards the end of the day, maybe there are references to sort of an interior and exterior space, curtains, or um, similar items, again, not always literal, and I will also want to point out that I have some older pieces here from the last few years. A few pieces go back more than a few years. Uh, these are uh, some older collages, and for many, many years I was stitching. Shall we keep going? Okay. Um, I was stitching on the paper for many, many years, and it became really a part of my identity as an artist. Um, my textile background uh, has informed my work for a long, long time. 
I studied textiles at Mass College of Art using fiber and textiles as a fine art form. So even though I'm not working particularly with fabric right now, the pieces are still quilt-like and there's been a continuous thread of textile orientation and uh, acknowledgement in the pieces. People often think they're quilts. This wall here um, is including extremely new, very, very recent pieces. And it, I've been thinking for quite a while, after maybe 30 years of stitching the paper, that I would move away from that. And it felt like the time was right, and that these pieces don't feel like they need it. Certainly that they don't need the stitching, for instance, um, as seams between the elements. So that's what I'm working with right now and also loosening up the interaction between the elements, the way the layers are connecting, speaking to each other, and also the pieces are starting to break the plane of the square or rectangle. And that's been pretty exciting, and I, I'm anxious to see where that can go. That might develop more, we never know. Perhaps the pieces will become shaped organic pieces on, on the outside and not be squares in a while. I'm not sure. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you can make it to the gallery sometime.